I wonder how a world where everyone respects each other is. I wonder how a world without discrimination is. I wonder how a world where everyone communicate with each other without any insult, rage or offensive words is. Hello everyone, my name is Mikael San and today I would like to deliver to you my thoughts about the most popular crime on the internet, also known as cyberbullying. I will give a fantastic, spectacular speech. Enjoy! So first, what is mental health? Mental health is the psychological condition of a person and their emotional well-being. So for instance, if someone is insane, we can call that an unstable mental health. We all know that social media is used a lot in these days. They help us a lot, for instance promoting items, entertain us, and etc. But what is the relation between mental health and social media? It has a lot of things that can really affect our mental health because we can get offended by words on the internet. And why does this relate to mental health? Well, I once heard a saying that words could hurt more than a knife to the chest. So first, what is social media bullying? Social media bullying, or we can call it cyberbullying, is bullying by taking advantages in SMS, social media apps such as TikTok, Instagram, and etc. First and foremost, do you know that cyberbullying, how and how could it affect to our mental health? To be honest, social media bullying hurts way more than physical bullying. Why? Because in social media, people could just hide their identity and just say some random hurtful things and get away with it. Sometimes, those things could offend our race, religion, and even parents. In my experience, whenever I play video game, it happens to me that people do this in a frequent and normal way to offend others. Sometimes, they call each other with Chinese, with offensive words, which is very offensive and I cannot say it here. These things need to stop. I mean, it is very cowardly that they hide their faces using social media and just offend lots of things. It really upsets me on how they just being cowards themselves. And how this could affect our mental health? Well, it is simply because sometimes the world will just linger on our minds. I read news once about someone just minding up their own business posting their faces and etc on the internet and people would just straight up bully her because of her big body. I mean why does this happen and what kind of pleasure do they get from this? I still don't understand how this happens and what kind of pleasure do they get from doing this. And the worst part is that no one defended her or just people are too afraid to defend her. This just shows how cool social media really is. If the victim have a strong mental they could get over it, but what if they have a weak mental mentality? They could be affected very much, they could even lose motivation to socialize with others. The worst part is that they could even lock themselves up just thinking about the mean words that people on the internet said to them. Even once I read someone committed suicide because of this matter. Sounds scary, isn't it? That's why I'm here to call out for, this, for stopping this further. So, how do we really stop cyberbullying? It is impossible to stop this because we don't have control over others. But the good news is we can try to control our reactions. First, be tolerant. Don't mind what others said about us because you know better yourself than any individuals on earth. So forgive them and move on. And second, live your life in reality instead of spending too much time on social media and trying to please others better. To do something you love in real life, just be yourself. And third, last but not least, learn the art of not giving any attention on negative things. It is easier said than done, but this is how we can try and overcome it. And for the last one, we need to make social media apps like Instagram, TikTok, and etc. do something serious. I mean, yes, they have done a lot of things to prevent posting negative things, but people on the comments still say those negative things, and I encounter this a lot. So, in conclusion, social media is Social media bullying cannot be stopped because this just shows the real personality of a human being. We can't control them, but the best we can do is to just ignore them. Don't care what they say. To close my speech, I would like to quote from Abraham Lincoln, I would rather be a little nobody than be an evil somebody. Thank you.